I'm now joined by the two division world champion Jesse Vargas after he defeated Saddam Ali this past weekend for the vacant WBO welterweight title. How are you doing? Hi, Helen. Well, I'm doing well. You know, I'm very happy to be back in Las Vegas. Be back to be. I'm happy to be able to, to you know, have fun and and see all my fans you know, come back to the city. Yeah. Well, I have to say, first off, impressive knockout in the ninth round. I mean, you were feeling great, and I know that uh, you mentioned in your speech tonight that you brought on Dewey Cooper four months before, and so can you elaborate a bit about that relationship? Yeah, well, I brought him on before this camp started, and it's the best decision I've made. You know, uh, this, this is only uh, a start, uh, the start to a new beginning, you know what I mean? Uh, Dewey has been able to bring out the best in me. You know, I'm having fun in there, I'm having fun while, while I'm fighting, I'm having full control over what's happening. Believe it or not, you know, I. I was in there and, and all the moves that he was making, I was either letting him do, you know, that way he commit to, to making a mistake, or I was attacking him because it was time to tear him apart, to break him down, or tear him apart, whatever you wanna, however you wanna put it. But uh, it, was a, it was an excellent fight, and um, I'm happy to be in the position that I'm in now. You know, WBA world champion, WBA lightweight champion, now WBO welterweight champion. Yes. You know, that's two divisions, not so many people could say that, and I'm just blessed. Now, how did you celebrate after the fight? Um, you know, I just got together with my entire team, right? With the senator. Yeah, with the senator of Washington, The senator, yeah. yeah. We were out and at a very nice restaurant. You know, it was about seven tables of us, you know what I mean? And just four, and we were all celebrating, having a nice time. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a moment that, you know, it's unforgettable. You know, it was, uh, had, there was so much mixed emotions going on at that moment. You know, it was a dream come true. Well, speaking of dream, dreams coming true, like I mentioned before, this is your second title. So, which was sweeter, winning your first one or the second one? Both. Winning both titles signified so much to me. But uh, I'd say the performance, you know, this past Saturday night what was what won everything over. You know, it's just... I, it, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy to get emotional, but for some reason, you know, that night after they, they announced me the winner, you know, I got a little emotional because I've been waiting to give my fans a great, a phenomenal performance, you know, and I finally did so, and now it's, it's only uphill from here. Yeah, well, what's next for you? I, I've been hearing some rumors of maybe a Timothy Bradley fight again. Is that what you really want? That's exactly what I want. Yes. You know, first of all, I want to wish him the best of luck. He has a tough task in front of him against Manny Pacquiao. You know, um, if he comes out victorious or doesn't come out victorious, that's the fighter that I want to fight. That's who I want to face. That's who I want to knock out next. Uh, but, um, you know, overall, I think that we'll have to sit down with, with my team. You know, my manager, my promoter, my, my trainer, my everyone on my team, and to see what's the next step if it's not Bradley. But to me, everyone knows, and no one will make me change my mind. I want to knock out Bradley next. Thank you so much for your time. And before I let you guys go, I also, of course, with your coach, Dewey Cooper here, how are you doing? I am great, I am great. And I'm sure even better now with the belts, right? Yes, yes. It was, uh... <laughs> A long, a long road and uh, a lot of hard work and determination and dedication and we made it happen. Now Jesse just stated he hopes to fight Timothy Bradley again and, and hopefully this time around it will be and result in a knockout. Yes. Uh, what would be the game plan going into a potential rematch? Well, uh, when we fight we're going to prepare accordingly. With Timothy Bradley, we know the changes we have to make, and uh, Jesse has already improved on some of the uh, mistakes he made in the first fight. I can assure you, if the fight does happen again, you will definitely see a different result. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, and once again, congratulations on the big win, and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank you for having me.